Hey folks, Allison here. I have a question for you that I'd like you to give some thought to. What would you do if fear were not holding you back? You know, many people are living locked up in fear, all right? They are just, you know, kind of immobilized. And I think particularly the state of the world, but I think in general, it's very easy to just do the same thing over and over and over because it's familiar. Now, let's face it, things that are unfamiliar can make us afraid. And sometimes we don't really progress or become the person that we're supposed to be because fear is holding us back. Now, what I would recommend is making a list of what your fears are. What are, what are the things that are on your mind the most in terms of anxiety? All right, it might be you know fear of the future, fear of illness, fear of rejection, fear of being embarrassed fear of failing, right? There's a lot of fears that we have. But what are the desires of your heart? What are the things that have, the desires that have been there for a long time and keep coming up and yet fear is keeping you from it? Now, I'm not talking about just conquering any fear for the sake of conquering fear, not at all. I'm a fearful person. I'm very careful. I grew up with really overprotective parents. I'm very, very careful. I've never water skied. I've never jumped out of a plane. I never intend to. I figure I can do all that stuff in heaven and not worry. And if we can't do it in heaven, I'm not going to miss it. But that just causes too, too much anxiety. But I don't have a strong desire to do it. What are the things that, though, you might feel called to? Maybe you've wanted to get involved politically. Maybe you've wanted to start your own business because you don't really enjoy your job or you've got an idea, but you're really afraid to put it into action, All right? Maybe you just need some skills. Maybe you need some, some coaching. And that's where a life coach can be super, super helpful. But what would you do if fear weren't holding you back? And I think it, we need to take some time in prayer and in front of the Blessed Sacrament is the best place, but wherever you are comfortable or have the time, to really sit and contemplate what's holding me back, what fears are holding me back. But even more important, say, Lord, what do you want from me? What is the desire that you've put on my heart? Now, the Holy Spirit inspires our prayers, right? So what is the desires in my heart that have been inspired by God that have been there perhaps my whole life that I haven't acted upon because fear is standing in my way? So two things to do. If the fear is so great that you are experiencing extreme anxiety most of the time, or you're totally immobilized, you may need to talk to a therapist to find out what the root of that fear is. All right? And a Catholic therapist who can help you spiritually as well, because perfect love, Jesus, casts out all fear but we need sometimes some psychological support to get there, right? Sometimes we need that emotional help to do it. Or if you kind of know, you know, some of my fears are really just practical. It isn't like, you know, really kind of anxiety, but there, there are obstacles in my way. That's where a life coach can help you with your mindset, getting that right, because if your mindset isn't right, you ain't gonna do anything, right? Getting your mindset right, conquering certain obstacles, figuring out how to make something a reality. All right, God has a perfect plan for your life. And if you've had a desire in your heart for a very long time, it's the same prayer all your life, chances are that is God's inspiration. So we need to take that seriously and then look at what is holding us back. So let yourself fantasize a little bit. If fear weren't holding me back, what would I do? And again, not to just conquer fear for the sake of it. I don't want you jumping out of planes if you don't really want to do something like that. But to just say, what is it that I've always had a desire to do? Maybe you want to do some public speaking, but you've always been so afraid. You know, what is it? Take that time. If you find that anxiety and fear have really kept you in chains, talk to a Catholic therapist, all right? Because I think that you would be surprised at how healing that can be and how God can really set you free to set the world on fire. Same thing with coaching. If you just need some help moving forward, exploring it, 
what is God calling me to? A Catholic Life Coach can really help you with that. So I hope you find that helpful. Make sure you like and share the video. If you know somebody who's struggling with fear, share it with them. God bless you.